Well, quarterback Kevin Glenn still maintaining his uh, silence following uh, Friday's win over the Eskimos. There we are. <laughs> he was knocked out of the game when he took a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit from Edmonton linebacker Augustin Berenicia. Glenn did participate in some light running with the team today, and uh, that would have to be considered a positive sign as if he did some uh, have some lingering effects from the hit, such as a concussion, he wouldn't be out there running. But again, Glenn did not speak to the media, but his teammates did speak but on no, his Kevin's behalf. Be he, he's tough. You know, uh, when you play quarterback, uh, you're going to take some hits. Uh, unfortunately, it was a hit like that, but Kevin is going to do everything in his powers to play, and I think he's going to be playing. Uh, we're not going to do anything, I'm for sure. The, the medical staff is not going to do anything to jeopardize him because, you know, he has the rest of his life to live, and you don't want to put anybody in a position where you're going to affect the rest of their life. But Kevin and, and, and uh, medical staff, our head trainer, our, and the doctors, I guarantee they'll make the right decision. But if I was a bad man, I would say Kevin's going to be out there uh, come Saturday evening. I thought it hit, and I felt it was unnecessary. You know, you had plenty of time to pull up, and uh, if you look at him after hit, he showed no remorse towards Kevin, and he was just walking away. And after the game, I think he tried to apologize to Kevin, probably because somebody told him. Uh, I've never known him to be that type of player. Uh, I don't know if he was frustrated or what exactly what happened, but hopefully, uh, the powers to be who make that decision uh, uh, make the right decision. You know, we're supposed to try and take quarterbacks out of the game legally. You know, if we can do it, that's that's what we're paid to do. So. Uh, you know, I don't think that really changes our, our perspective. It just, you know, maybe it makes it a little more personal, and and it's definitely going to make things a lot uglier on Saturday. You can guarantee that. So. By the way, the CFL has decided just to uh, find Berenicia and several other Bomber and Edmonton players. Moose Training Camp continuing over at the MTS Center because of an injury to one of their goaltenders coming to camp. It opened the door for a local product, Rajon Boschman, to attend. A free agent now, Boschman was a sixth-round draft choice of the Philadelphia Flyers in 2003. He was inserting pro in 2000.